Hey, it's Norm from Tested.com. I'm here in New York City, actually at NYU. Yep. Now, NYU known for its film school, but yep. you, actually there's a graduate program here that not many people might know about. It's called ITP. And yes. I'm Ben Light. You are a professor here at ITP. Yep. What is this? Uh, ITP is, stands for Interactive Telecommunication Program, and it's basically a technology school for artists and an art school for technologists. Uh, it's where those two come together and all the weirdness that comes out of it. Um, the intersection, we're the at intersection. the intersection we are literally of art at the crossroads. and technology. Yes, That's yes. where we belong. Yes. And so this is a graduate program yep. where people learn how to combine, use new tools and equipment, yep. and like laser cutters, all the, fabrication all the, yep. machines. Uh, uh, programming, um, we use a lot of microcontrollers, Arduinos, uh, processing programming mm -hmm. we do a lot of, a lot of film and video. Uh, we do web stuff, we do physical stuff, we do Internet of Things, you know, all, all kinds of crazy it stuff. It sounds like one big maker space. It kind of is. And it yeah. also sounds like, like an artist in residence program. It kind of is. Right? Uh, but, yeah, it's that it, thing, it, but you're getting a graduate and, degree and it's out of education. it. it it's That's amazing. It's a two year program where you play and get to work with all the expensive toys, and uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's so great. I'm sure as people watching will notice there's a cool installation behind yes. us. This is like yes. a flagship installation. Yes. It's called the Wooden Mirror. Yes, it's uh, by Danny Rosen, uh, another faculty member here, great uh, kinetic sculptor. Uh, he was a student as well. Um, uh, he was one of my teachers when I went here, and this is sort of our showpiece. Uh, kind of, it kind of embodies where the intersection what we are, is, I guess. right? Yeah, that technology. Yeah, yeah. And here it's literally a webcam or a camera. Yeah, um, right in the middle here. Right in the middle. And yep. when you walk by it, it flips these wooden panels so that when light bounces off of it, you can see yeah. the shape and the it's, object. It's a lot of fun to play with. Uh, and it's, it's one of those things, I've now seen it a million times, but if I'm walking through, I'll just kind of you know, kind yeah. of play with it in front of it. It's it's very, it's it's great. It's great. So, what other examples, other projects have come out of ITP from students or uh, residents? So, one of our big ones that made a lot of uh, press lately was at Maker Fair recently called uh, the Penis Wall. The Penis uh, Wall. Okay. Yes. <laughs> uh, it was 81 animatronic penises that I, I think were choreographed right. music actually. Um, it was it was a great fun project that uh, everyone Lee, took in the right way, and right. I think it, it, it did really well. An artistic expression, definitely, being more on the artistic side, yeah. but using technology. And you absolutely. guys do a lot of physical installations, but mm -hmm. also digital. Oh, absolutely. Projects too. It, it's, I would say I don't know if it's 50-50, but it's it's a lot of both. And uh, even though I don't work digitally, we have plenty of students who almost only work digitally, mm. and we have a lot of students that only work physically, and we have a lot that are constantly, sometimes the answer isn't a physical build, sometimes it's a program, sometimes it's a phone app, sometimes whatever, and uh, we're constantly going back and forth. So who are the students? Who comes here to get a graduate degree? That's, it's a hard thing to uh, pin us down, and I think that's actually kind of our secret sauce. We've got uh, engineers and artists, we've got filmmakers and dancers, we've got uh, lawyers and doctors and you name it and we throw them all together we teach them how to code and how to build stuff and then see what happens uh, wow yeah it's pretty great and two years later they get a degree yeah in yeah. making awesome things yes that's sort of that's the exact same. and yeah. some people who come out of this program for example uh, the guy who did the led light bridge in san francisco yeah he's one of our alum yeah wow yeah we've uh we've got some great ones and um the funny thing is everyone's like well what are you going to do now that you graduated and there's no, there's no great answer. Yeah. We can kind of do just about anything and go anywhere. And uh, Imagineering. Yes. That makes the yeah. most sense, yeah. right? I, that, that's probably not a bad career path for a lot of us. Yeah. Well, I guess if you want to get a job like that, yes. design there's, light learn, bridges or imagineering, you can, you can, you can, you can get, take the ITP program Absolutely. at NYU. And it's new, new class every year? Uh, it's a two-year program, so it's, a, uh, it's first years and second years, we call them. And every year is a new class. Yeah. Wow. Park maker space, workshop, artists, Art, yeah. collective, yeah. Yes, and, and still a school yes. in New York City. Awesome. Thank you so much, Ben. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Showing me stuff here. Thank you for coming. And, and showing me this awesome yes, installation here. Absolutely. We'll have more stuff from my trip to New York on test.com. I'm Norm. I'll see you next time.